Hey guys! Welcome back to Life with Taylor. Last episode, Kira was born, but Taylor lost her father, and Kira lost her grandfather. Um, in this episode, Kira is a toddler now, and uh, let's do it. Ah, uh, come on, you could do it. Um, they have figured out. Since the last episode, Taylor and Robbie have figured out a system. As you can tell, Taylor is in her work attire. Uh, she hates dresses, but it's her work attire. Robbie is the one that mostly care, that mostly... He's a stay-at-home dad. He doesn't mind being a stay-at-home dad. Um, think about, you know, he, he doesn't mind it at all. Because anyway, he earns his money from like painting and paintings and writing, and he works from home. So it doesn't really matter much. It really doesn't. <laughs> She's so cute. She is so cute. Kira is sa a little s feeling sad right now because things haven't been the same since, like, Taylor's dad, Robert, passed away. Things have not been the same. And it's... I think Kira feels it, too. I think so. I mean, it's been a little while since she passed, but it's not the same. Like, grandma oh, visits, me. but, like, it's not the same. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. But she's a cool Bruna. kid. She's a really cool kid. <laughs> I love her. Um, I think Robbie is going to read Kira to sleep. Because he wants her to... He wants her to learn a lot, of, to learn things. So, he's gonna read her to, she's, he's gonna read her to sleep. And as you can tell, they haven't, they've kept the room gender neutral, despite she's a girl, because they don't want to force gender standards on her. They really don't. And it's, it's how they are. And I, I, I like that too, but it's how they are. They want her to be what she can I think she's falling asleep now yeah she's asleep that's good but he loves parenting he he loves being a dad um, Taylor mostly loves being a mom Oftentimes she does, other times Polina she just wants to do her own thing because she's hey. very independent in that way. She doesn't always, she doesn't want to define her life as a parent. That's not her main main way she defines herself. She's an artist, she's a musician. Um, but Robbie, he, he very much likes to define himself as a parent and then an artist. Um... He wants to give himself a better childhood than he got. Taylor is writing a song right now, so. <laughs> She's getting that done. Oh, yay! It's done. What's it gonna be called? Uh, I think it's gonna be about the kid. About Kira. It's gonna be very sentimental, not like edgy like her usual songs are. Usually her songs are very edgy. Little life, maybe. Because usually her songs are pretty, are more edgy. Um, they're more, not so, like, you know what I mean. But Little Life is what's, this is dedicated to Kira. Yay. I hope people, she hopes people love it. She is going to publish the song now, so... It, she's gonna earn money off of it. But usually her songs are less, are not so 
sentimental, if you know what I mean. Um, but this one's special. This one is a special song. She hopes it to hit. She hopes. Finally. Finally she gets some time to herself. Like, you know. Whoa, no kid running around. <laughs> Molo. <laughs> Just time to herself. It's a lot harder to find since she's had the kid. Um, she hasn't had the... <laughs> it's hard. But... She and Robbie eventually want to have more kids, but, um... Right now, one is enough for the moment. One is enough for right now. Because, uh -huh. like... Uh, they don't... Just too much. It's enough for one. Let like, They don't want to have a billion kids. They really don't. Oh, Binja! Yeah, Robbie. Make some food for later because it's time. There's enough time, and so that means if he's busy with the kid, busy with like doing whatever, at least there's he could easily go and grab something, to, grab something to eat, and he could do it quick. He doesn't have to make a meal. <laughs> he doesn't have to worry about making a meal when. He's all busy. He doesn't have to. That's just too much. So, making meals ahead of time is a is a thing he likes to do. Well, they both like to do it, but especially he likes to do it. Changing her clothes for warmer weather, but you know what? I think it's time for. Robbie is going to teach her to talk a little more. Uh, she's trying. She's trying to learn. She's trying because, like, so she's not talking, like, baby language. And that'd be good. That'd be good when she can talk in actual words. It would make it so much easier for Robbie and Taylor. So much easier. Uh, I'm not a parent, but I know it's hard. I know it's hard. <laughs> Kira deserves this. She deserves time. Like, alone with her imagination. And, like, kids deserve that. They, like, kids deserve to have fun. I mean... Ah, this is sweet. Oh, she's gonna... Oh, she's gonna put it away! She's putting her toy away! Ah, Such a good kid. Such a good kid. Ah, she's gonna go to bed by herself. She's so good! She is so good. She's so cute. Ah, nice. Halo right now is chatting with Angel. Angel, if you recall, is Taylor's bestie. And help Taylor pick out a wedding dress and Taylor hate that, hates the it. Uh, Taylor doesn't even have that wedding dress anymore. She hated it. But she wore it once. Um It's good to you know. Good to chat with someone besides a co-worker, oh, or someone she works with, or the family. Chat with someone else. Chat with a, a bestie. Come on, Bruno. <laughs> Bruno's loving it. I mean, like, Bruno gets so... The, Bruno doesn't get as much attention as he used to, but... You know, Taylor and Robbie make sure that Bruno does get, he does get attention, he gets his exercise. Oh, come on. Yeah. Time to eat. Time to eat, Kira. Ah. 
Um, is this the news he was expecting? Uh, oh no, it's... It's his dad? His dad. How does dad get his number? But it's about that his... Robbie's mom died. Yeah. I don't know. Robbie... You would think one would be... Feel really sad? You would think he would feel really sad for his mom passing away, but he doesn't. He just, he's feeling a bit apathetic. He did, he's not fond of his parents. Kayla cares about it more than he does, to be honest, really. But, he... Oh, oh, this is cool. Ah, he's being a good dad. He is being... The best dad. I look. Oh. I don't know how he's doing all this stuff, but uh, Kira loves it. Kira loves it. Ah. Ah. Unironically, dad of the year. Like, unironically. Frinka, Brobe Unsa, Plus Wangle, Stoon, Bobna Fran. Ah. He's gonna teach her some more how to talk. Taylor's going to the bathroom? Oh no. Where's the dog going? Where is the ducks going to the bathroom to? Everybody. In the house is in the bathroom. This is not a formal family. Um, not formal at all. No one cares. No one cares. Go to the bathroom. Everybody just hangs out in the bathroom. Oh my god. That's, that's good. That is great. Tristan is sharing some amazing news. He and Sean are engaged. He he proposed to Sean. Sean is Taylor's brother. He proposed to Sean on in San Mishuno in a beautiful city landscape. It was gorgeous, and uh, they're planning a wedding. And it's it's a, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be really cool. I Taylor can't wait. Taylor can't wait. <laughs> Well, Kira is acting up a little bit, um, so Robbie is teaching. Oh, yeah, you come over, Angel. Yeah. Robbie is teaching Kira how to say sorry. He doesn't want to be too firm, he just wants to, but he does want to teach her kindness. Taylor and Tristan are talking about wedding plans right now. Like, what they have in mind? What's wrong, Angel? <sighs> Taylor is gonna talk to Angel privately. I, I think something is bothering Angel for some reason. Something important. Is does Angel want? To... Taylor's gonna have to go upstairs and talk to Angel about it. Privately, probably. Oh, okay. Oh, the dog wants to hang out with Kira? Oh, that's cool. That is really cool. He wants to protect her, maybe, or, like, make sure Kira feels safe. That's good. That is a good... E Bruno is the best dog. He is the best dog. He is the best dog. Ah, this is great. This is great. Oh. Love Bruno. Okay, so Taylor wants Robbie to go and talk to his dad about what's going on. And like what happened and Robbie just doesn't want to do it, so like Robbie would rather just paint about paint his apathy out. 
I guess. So I guess Taylor's gonna do it in a bit. Turns out... Robbie's dad has lived in Oasis Springs all along. Like, for a while. And Robbie didn't even know about it, and he wouldn't have cared. But Taylor... Taylor cares, and is just glad that Robbie just let her in on this stuff. Here goes. Okay, it's complicated. This is like, is William. William is his name. Even though he was absent for most of Robbie's life, he did teach Robbie how to paint. And and William is, he's a painter himself. And that's how Robbie learned how to paint, but he hasn't been the best dad, and his ex-wife Cheryl, she, who passed, who has passed away, wasn't the best mom either. It's there's like every reason he completely understands why Robbie doesn't want to talk to him. But you know, he's not a bad guy. He's not a bad guy. He just made mistakes. That's all. Taylor doesn't mind talking. What? His superpowers or something? What the hell? He's like the Flash, too. <laughs> but Taylor doesn't mind him. Taylor, Taylor also didn't experience the childhood Robbie experienced, but Taylor doesn't mind him. Well, Taylor is in her comfort zone again. Working on a song. Bruno is listening to the song. But, like, well, a lot happened. A lot happened, so... I guess we'll continue it in this next episode. Please hit that like button, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos, or even hit that bell icon to join the notification squad. I truly appreciate all the support. Bye, guys!